welcome to the very first, and hopefully not the very last, of a Friendly Trees Battle Simulator. A collection of videos where I play some footage of me in matches and pretty much tear apart what I'm doing, show what I could have done better, show the different options and try and explain my reasoning. I've got a friend of mine today who's been kind enough to let me upload some videos and to be honest I live in Australia, my internet's very bad so hopefully in the future when I get better internet I can show you a few better videos. I'm a real lad monster so you'll notice I probably don't play as well as you'd hope from the tech that I post. Alright, so first thing to start around, I've got to feel out my opponent, so I'm always going to start back dashing. Once I see he's on the defensive, I'll throw out a few safe options, a few pokes. You can see I'm a bit unfortunate, he gets the first move. And I'm a bit competitive, so you can see I run and just try and get a low, low poke. At least I get a 14 frame punish off quarter circle forward 1 2, but I should have really done down forward 3 4 there. Much better option for follow ups. I'm using a lot of plus frame moves to try and get in and keep the pressure going. Thank god I was able to duck the 2-4. Oh, I dropped that combo, but at least he didn't tick, so I was able to get to the wall, and I was able to get the end the round. Now, I know he backdashes at the start, but I'm still cautious. And I was able to see that low, fortunately. Dropped my combo again. So you can see in my gameplay, I don't use a ton of lows, I don't use a ton of throws either. I try and use a lot of frames. I try and tech trap people a lot. I should have really hit confirm that. I realised he could have ducked. A lot of what I'm doing are highs that he can duck, but while he's not ducking them, I'll keep using them. Fortune with the low parry. Not optimal, but no need to be optimal there. You just need to be consistent if you're going, if you want to win the round. Got the quarter circle forward one, and a forward two one was a bit of a silly option there. I guess I expected him to press a button, going for that counter to confirm. Pressed a button, counter hit by that. I think he didn't get a combo. Trying for some of that Oki you guys have seen me post about. Had a side hit there, I could have ended that quicker. But down forward four, an amazing tool to end around with. Movement's pretty off. I need to be keeping. I mean, I, Nina really needs to be at a close space, but I gotta say, there isn't too much direction with my movement. Fortunately, I am aware it's against Lily, so I can sidestep in either direction. I can get away with that. Her tracking is pretty horrible. See, now I'm 14 frame punishing properly. First time I did the throw, I thought he'd respect it. Second, well, because I've noticed he's been respecting, but the second time I thought he might change it up, so I pressed a button trying to get a counter hit launch. I should have really done something different. I should have done like a down forward two or something. And the forward two for the whiff punish. Nice fast. Good range. So remember with this video, it's it's all about seeing what I'm doing to seeing what I could have done better. Like for example that back turn combo there, that wasn't guaranteed. I should have done down forward 1-2 two, forward 1 plus 2 or a 4-3-3. Three, three. I went for the um, up forward 1 there when I could easily done wall carry and got much better damage. Dropped my combo because of the wall. And once again I'm not going for the proper combo there because I know a jab will be more consistent and it will win the round. Or whipped up for one. Not good. Really trying to bait with that forward two there. I notice he's not punishing the forward two one, so I can get away with it. Get up kick was a bad choice, but once again, I didn't get punished for it. I'll wait for the next 13. Low mid, that's okay. 
He's a very patient player. He doesn't quite evade much, so I am getting away with a lot of things here. There's a lot of buttons where I could be interrupted or I could, could avoid it anyways. And that's it with me. A lot of my pressure it comes from highs. Again, a backdash to start, and I've noticed he started getting a bit more aggressive at the start of that. So, backdashing seems like the best option, but I should be trying to capitalize, I should be trying to whiff punish after that. One thing I haven't used in any of these matches, which I'm disappointed with, is I haven't used back 1 plus 4 yet. I should be using that as a whiff punisher. Or even up for 2 1. Like I just tried to do then, but got clipped by the second hit. Another whiff. Oh, that could have launched. Now the counter had to interrupt. Love the new thoughts of the forward one. Come to the carry. But I drop it. Loaded the mid but he drops his forward. And the risky spring kick. You see, I'm really using that forward 2 a lot. I think it's a great tool to get in. I mean, on block, there's not much you can do, but on hit, it leaves you right in their face and advantage. Down for 1 plus 2 to close up. When you're at the wall, I mean, that's a great tool to use. Wall splats, and I mean, it stops on sides too. I went for a very risky wipe the floor, but it paid off with a counter launch. Oh, oh, I drop it. I didn't quite do the setup as I wanted. I'm trying to do my cross up setup there. So if I did that right, the quarters will fall forward and get it behind them. I did a foolish armor move there for some reason, that could have been a neck 14 punish. So I mean, not Lily, but many characters could launch me for that, so I should do that. And I finally get my whip, but I'm off axis. Well, yeah, that's just me breaking down my video. I mean, <laughs> I could do a lot of things better. A lot of things better. Anyway, I'll try and post more videos as I can. I mean, I don't have too much footage of myself, not while I have good internet. But I just wanted to show you guys how I try and put everything that I suggest in my videos into an actual match. And I've got a long way to go on doing that, but I'll keep working on it too. Thanks guys. Catch you later.